But yeah, that's not the house, uh, the house is up there. That's a statue. And that's the crash. Oh. Mom hasn't picked up on it yet. Maybe you it'd know be better if all that. this just died with me. Oh, wow. What is that? But the I totem. thought you should know about your family. But I thought you should know about your family. Who's she talking to? And the history you're right. a part of. Her brother. Her brother? Her baby! Oh my god. Uh, that's the house in the distance. The house that crashed, that they couldn't get to shore. Oh remember my it saying. god, yeah. Why a 40 foot wave Why happened that close to shore? In it? Uh, it's like a buoy. Oh. To warn people, hey, this is oh, here, don't yeah, crash yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. She's talking to her baby. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. Also, keep in mind she's also seventeen. Uh, mm. Not saying she's not. I'm just saying she's, she's seventeen, so that's even. She thinks her brother's still alive. Can We're going things? out here. Ooh. Let's see how far I can get. Caitlin's risky. Caitlin's gonna. Can fly. you say erosion? Cat, cat, that. Cat, cat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's go to the end because nothing will happen. Well, nothing can happen while we're interacting. But. Oh my god, the light just lights up. That's so funny. They're all motion detected. They've all been lighting up. I know, but it's like seven years. And there's yeah. no electricity in the house, but there's electricity on here. They must be solar. Before I go in the house, I gotta make sure that story triggers. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness <laughs> and madness. Right? Any of it seems possible. I'm sorry, if my kid died on a swing, I would have been, like, taking that swing down. Right? I think they did. Or maybe they did. I don't know. No, it's up it there. Though. It was up Is there. It? Yeah. When we came up. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. That's kind of sad. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Yeah. Well, now we get to go down again. Oh, it's like Atlantis room. It's or embarrassing something. for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Uh, burpy, chirpy, derpy. Three of the were mine, and two had been my fault. Oh, Coco. Yeah, Charlie. And it says if it's a cat or not. It's for some of them, Lucy's a dog. Charlie's a cat. Coco, Zoe, fish, rabbit. Some don't even have names, Burpee, they just Burpee. have, like, faces. Right. Christopher Shadow. the Fish! Shadow. Mom has a cat named Shadow. And they have Chris a rabbit. Christopher's it must the have one the that rabbit Molly thing. was tempted eating. Yeah. Shotzi. Shotzi. Oh my god, my grandmother had a dog named Shotzi. Really? It's <laughs> an amazing name. Bailey. Look at it, it's very Celtic. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. So awesome. And each how they died. I like how there's a seat to, like, Sit at whichever one you want to think. Oh, there's Molly. Oh, no, that's just the... That's the actual daughter. Calvin, spaceship. That's awesome. Sven, the saw. Barbara Finch, right? Or Edie Finch. No, books. Because Edie's the one that was collecting all the books. Walter. That's who she's named after. Why was Walter just, like, a stone a hole, hole in the wall? You know, because he... I guess. Built, you know, things under the ground. Barbara French, the star. Uh, I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. Wow. Mm. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Mm. Wow, so what a monument. That's so weird. That's supposed to be Edie and her husband yeah. and her kid. Molly, I think that is, and then mm. Odin. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Yeah. Let's look through the walk. Can we look through it? Yeah. I wanted to see if there's Ring the bell. Ring my bell. Uh, Shotzi in German is roughly translated to little darling. Aww. That's what Jandra said. That's so cool. Approach the hole. This hole? Oh, shit. Can't really see uh, it. Remind me, I gotta remember to do that afterward. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Erosion, that'd be gone a long time ago, but... 
That's cool. Yeah, let me go do that. What? Um, someone said to look through the hole in Walter's grave. Oh. The east side was always easier for me to understand. Cool. I'll do that in a second. This way. I'm wondering what's in the hole. I didn't even think about that. Hmm. Oh. oh, I bet the hole is the, um, looking at the train. Maybe. Or the... Or the house? Is there a way? Oh, I just do that. Ah. So he can actually look out. That's cute. Aww. I never knew you could do that. Aww. Yep, she's a black cat. Yep, so is mom's cat. But the older I get, the more kind of I can cat. see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. So Gregory and Gus were her brothers. Sam's her dad. So, so he died he in the war. Granddad, huh? So 1983, what war was in 1983? Oh my god, a day after my birthday. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Seems like Sanjay. the women live the longest, Who's I realized. <laughs> uh, that's her dad. But they don't really, because he's one of the black names, so you don't really find out what oh. happened. We never found Milton's body. So my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. A light or something? Paintbrush. Because oh, he would paint everything. Or... And India ink. Yeah. Lewis. What's that? It's a crown. Aww. You'll find out more about him later. She's wow, this is like a maze um, I I could ask my mom graveyard. Right. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along for me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Probably with somebody and in the light. Did I miss one thing, guys? I don't know. Maybe it hasn't happened yet. So cool. Did I miss something with the ocean, if someone knows? But looking back on it now, This is almost the path she of a told cat. Me there was gonna be so much climbing. So that girl really, so what's her name? Really did follow this path and. Ready, Mom? I never would have come when I was twenty-two weeks pregnant. Really? Yep. Rick and Mom's this head. is the path so that Lolly took. You can tell she's kind of pregnant. And the diamond ring of her mom. Because can't see her feet. Oh my god, this girl's nuts. Well, she didn't know there'd be so much climbing. That's what she was saying. But still, 22 weeks pregnant when you have this, like, record of, or this history of problems. I never <laughs> met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my Bob mom Vodka must be taken from the freezer. Vodka is, like, that's too hard. I thought there was something where you could go to the ocean, but maybe that's later. They were both pretty oh. intense. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Dead deer. So there's a hunter. I'll read that in a sec. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Was this the guy who went to war? You're the one that assumes oh, he went to cat. war. look at the cat. Aww, it's like taxidermied. Yep. You assume he went to war. Oh, yeah. It said <laughs> he went to war. Did he? Oh, he did. He. You're right. He signed up at 18. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that doesn't have much uh, backstory here. So, okay, let's read a story. Oh, look at that. And the ring. Oh, he's got a little spaceman for his brother. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh! <gasps> It's, uh, what's his name from Marvel Comics? Or Stan Lee. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Dawn is yes, her. Sir. He, uh, His memories are going to last a lifetime. So this is your mm -hmm. grandpa. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Perfect. Looks like Edith. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Up to, look to the left. Never forget this weekend, Dad. 
That's the spirit. There's something. No, no, no. Right in the middle. That right there. What's? Oh, That's it's a flower. flower. Sorry. Smiled on. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Hmm. Oh my God, he's hey. peeing. <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying. I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that Bird. was a great trip. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. What? Oh. Dad, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. It's on a cliff. How are they going to get that thing down? Great shot, Don! I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it, it's twitching. <gasps> I think it's totally so, normal, guys. Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about it. Dad! Oh. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. That's the one that hits me the hardest and I don't know why. Yeah, don't mess with deers. But I think it hits me the hardest because it's the most real out of all of the stories. But, and, you know... Uh, we're crying. Where is it? Mom has them. Because I was like, I can't imagine seeing my dad fall off a cliff. Like, and you're alone on a camping trip. She doesn't know how to drive. Like, she has to, how did they get, her, like, her in it? Ugh. And also, mom's a photographer, and, I mean, like, I don't know if grandpa was really a hunter. No. Oh. It just kind of reminded me of that. I was like, damn, that would be my family. But I did learn to shoot with your papa. He, I shot a, um, uh, a shotgun. Yeah. And there weren't any cell phones. Yeah, she had to, like, legit... I don't know what she did to go get oh help. Oh, my God, I'd be <laughs> like, hysterical. Like, what the heck, you know. Uh, but, yeah. So, that's what happened to Sam. But, yeah. Oh, this way. These little doors are so cool. All right? Yeah. Uh, the food killed Dad. Yeah, basically. Air ducts. This is where I got lost for a little bit. After Sam died... My mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Because that was her... Oh my god, a baby gate? That's so funny. Her son? Or no, oh, I guess weird. not, because Edie's her daughter. A baby gate? Oh, that's so weird. Gregory, Don, and Gus. So these are Don's brothers. Her mom's brothers. So Edie's uncles. Yeah, but Don's bet that's that's weird. Like they all three were they triplets? No, they were next to each other, but I'm sure Don moved because her brothers died. Oh, yeah. So So that's like they were Beautiful in the upstairs, room, though. right? Oh, can you get into any of those? Not no. Gregory's. That's emptied because she was yeah. probably like, fuck this. And I can't get into Gus's. 
So, race flag, breakfast, quiet time, duty, dawn, sleep, trash, Gus, mop, mow the yard, Greg, be a be baby. baby. <laughs> Gregory's gonna be worse. Let's get it over with because he's a baby. That's hard. I can't imagine a baby dying. Right? I can't imagine a kid dying. That's true. Oh, do you say divorce contract? What the hell? Between Sam and. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? <gasps> Something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Yeah. I think he saw things the rest of us Copyright. Did. This is the one I got content ID'd for. <laughs> there we go. I, I didn't do that. I think I just had to move his arm enough. Oh, now I'm the frog. Uh-oh. Got time over, Gregory. It's time to... Hold on, sweetie. Never leave a baby in a bathtub alone. Yeah. Damn, this is I the one that I hit Bowling right Otter and Lizzie. Oh, I bet. Because oh they God. have a one-year-old. <laughs> right? What his world was like. There we go. He reminded me so much of Calvin. <laughs> Lost in his imagination. It's the Nutcracker. Yep. Right, jump. I think I jump on this. Ah, there we go. I know how silly it sounds. So this is him talking to the wife. That's um, this is his letter to her because of the divorce papers. Oh, another. I don't want Gregory to hear this. I wish he could have told us about the world he saw. <laughs> So much I don't understand about Gregory, about everything. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. Sam. Oh, I don't know if I can live with myself after that. Like, I find it sad, but I think because of the environment and the music and stuff, it keeps me from getting too emotional about it's it. Because she has not had a baby yet. Yeah, that too. So for me, it hasn't hit me as something that's real, but like, I, it makes me sad and I tear up, but yeah. Uh, as negligence when it comes down to it, yeah. So. One year old Gregory. So that's her mom's brother. So her mom knew her parents' grief of a one year old dying. And her parents divorced. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. And her mom wrote this for Gus. The little punk. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. <laughs> Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Yep. The wedding on the beach, with the house in the distance. Yep. I gotta get all the letters. My father made him there come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, 
just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I I now pronounce you husband and wife. Make his pride. Obviously, she was pretty supportive of him if she let him have the wedding on the beach. Yes. Yes, angry teen. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign held up his middle finger. <laughs> the wind mm -hmm. picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Thunder strong kite. much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. I wish the... Hit. I'm trying to get it. That's pretty cool. There you go. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. This is rough. I assume he got electrocuted with the kite. Or knocked down and dead. Or knocked she down. Never oh, electrocuted with the kite. Mom yeah. told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. In memory. He got crushed to death. He might have, yeah. It's one or the other. A <laughs> tent squid. That was a tent squid. Jesus. Yeah. All right. That's the brothers. I have to say, I I might do the same thing as far as memorializing. My mom yeah. moved up to the loft after her brothers died. I want to rock climb to my bed. At the time, day. it was as far away as she could get. I'd never be able to get it, yeah. Yeah. I'd be fine if you wanted to do, though. <gasps> so, this was her room for a long time? That's awesome. She spent a summer building oh, houses in Calcutta, understand. where she met my dad, Sanjay. Fly to India, pack. Edith looks, Edith looks awfully food. white. Right? Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot she wasn't after Muslim? her dad died. She might not have been before going to. Do you open up the Holy Bible? No, to. Oh, uh, this isn't mom's story. Oh, it's just mom's room. So okay. that's so cool. So it took me my forever mom to realize. Went to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. That I could open this door. So I like walked around aimlessly in the air ducts and stuff, trying to figure that's out where to go. Louis really. was born a year later. Oh. Look at this. It was terrifying. Right? Looks fun to me. I love heights. And that's broken. When Can't my dad down. died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. She came back home. Yeah. Um, I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. That's so cool. So this is More Edie. Pets? Oh no. No, this is Edith's Plants, yeah. um her brothers. It's their Oh uh, look at Milton. And to see kids in the house Aww. again. Yeah, because Edie was alone after they moved out, after her daughter moved out. Dawn, this is her mom's. Wow. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. So that's how they that's kept so cool. building up. Yeah, because yeah, they kept closing off rooms. Yep, instead of raising them. And for a while, things were good. Almost Even at normal. school there? Homeschooled. Because they were afraid that they were going to die if they go out in the world. They all died here. Why would they be afraid of the world? Yeah, right. I don't know. That's my guess, though. But it didn't last. That's really cool. Aww. The family. I guess Edith's Wait, pretty the... white, but the other ones are... 
definitely Biracial. both their children. Yeah. Go, look at yeah. Look no. Look to the left. I'll look at the newspaper clipping. What's oh. End in disaster. I'm assuming that's with Sanjay. Yeah. Like his memorial. The tidy one they give. <laughs> A presentation on the curse. That's. Yeah. The beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. So in order to get to his bedroom, I mean, this is terrifying. <laughs> and there's new ones. So she needs that lock thing. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Interesting. I wonder if that's blood on the floor or painting. No, it's painting. He just went missing. Is it just Milton? So this is the one we're not going to get much like explanation for. Apparently, this is the one that's a separate game. Oh, okay. So like all of this probably Ooh, has meaning if we played it. But this is a really pretty room. Though. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. That's amazing. His imagination. He would have been just like uh, like Grandpa. I'm assuming this has to do with the game. Looks like some inspiration from India, too. <gasps> There's wow. Milton DLC. There is. It already exists. But hello, it has, has crested. Hello, hello. So cool. It's like you're painting out, looking outside the house. Yeah. You would love this, too. Yeah, I would. So... So this is a really awkward one, so I'm going to concentrate on it, motion-wise. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. <gasps> it's like Harold and the Purple Crayon. A little bit, yeah. But I have to keep this momentum, otherwise it starts you from the beginning again. Because I fucked up when I was playing. <gasps> Harold and the Purple Crayon, or Lion and the Witch in the Wardrobe. I could have been a fantastic architect. Seriously, that architecture? I was four when Milton disappeared. So she doesn't really remember him, but yeah. still. Another game from the same creators, That's yeah. so cool, though. So I'm pretty sure that concept of him going Mom's in the door. Been a month searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. I bet you that's what happened to him. Is he actually painted that door and went through it, but no one knows and they can't find him now. I bet you that's what his DLC is. Or not DLC, but that's, that's what his so story cool. is. If you download it and play it. It's just a guess. Don't tell me if I'm right Whatever on. Milton had found in the house. Mom yeah, I want to play that game. We have to find it. Yeah. We can ask the whatchamacallit, the, the game people. Yeah, it is a previous game. Like this. But like... One Mom story. definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Her brother. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Mm. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. He was Everyone 22. Everyone hoping to stay out of Lewis's room. Wow. Except Lewis. Boy, he totally looked I like got a closer head. look as an achievement because I finally did all the looking through the keyholes. <laughs> Hey. And hi to anyone in Oh, look at all the swings. That's so cool. Oh my god. And terrifying. I would not have the confidence to be up here. Well, especially after somebody died on a Seriously, swing. Though. He was a stoner. A little bit. Yeah. All the psychedelic stuff. Can't wait for our gameplay. She doesn't hey. smoke pot after this, does she? No. That's how she dies. Pot. Lewis's room smelled very... Very Oops. familiar. Well, that's so funny. Demonis. I accidentally made the subtitle go away. Thank you so much for the sub! Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you! Guys, throw all the love in chat. So, his is um gonna be hard for me gameplay-wise. It's a lot of multitasking. It's the most interesting interactive-wise, but oh my god, does it fuck me up. Lewis and I <sighs> spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Mm. That'd be me. Yep. Alright, so let's do it. 
But yeah, his is hard because I have to have my mouse do one thing and my keyboard do the other, and I'm not good at having my hands do separate things. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Sometimes marijuana Newly sober, can make you go I believe get Lewis first noticed the monotony of his anxious. daily life. So my mouse has to do this. He kept working at the cannery. No wonder why. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to wander. And this is where I have to use the keyboard I asked separately. Him to describe it. Uh, he said he I'm started walking to walls small. a lot. Oops. Hold up. Okay. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Oh my god, does he get his hand chopped off? Then something moved. Bats. And toads. Oops. Ah. This is really hard to do for me. And things that have no names. He knew God. it was all in his head. This just looks bad. Don't imagine things serious. when you're trying to slice people's heads off. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Oh, he doesn't guillotine his head, does he? I worried about him then. What? I just wonder if he guillotines himself. dreaming at the cannery. It's really a fish guillotine. I spoke with his yeah, boss. Oh yeah, said like Lewis had become a model boss. employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Yep. I'm I just even waiting for it. Him. It's a it's a long longer okay. story. It seemed very promising at first. I lied. You'll be able he to make a decision. He made a new friend. Doggy. On the edge of a city, he named Lewis Topia. The dog is stuck. How creative! He built the city well, up slowly, brick dog. by brick. Then he made musicians. What's that video game with the dog next to it that you have the tarot card of? That's Haunting Grounds. That's a horror game. Songs for them to play. It's like this. It's like Haunting Game. Not quite. <laughs> this is more like fantasy. Uh, D and D. Talked about starting a band. Uh, RPG. He games. should have played D and D. Right. And he was always humming. Something. Oh my God! That was so funny. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Keep focused. He no longer spoke at the cannery. He's just a mute. It's just but his in his imagination. Was as reliable as ever. This family does have and a great imagination. It struck him. It's true. Very creative. I'd hate to think the, the imagination crowds, is their downfall. Even the stones under his feet. Well, I'm in trouble. His imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. Mayor or king? And he won. Mayor first, I guess. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. That flag, though. They begged him to stay. It became a game for him. Lewis Topia. It's amazing. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. It's like Game of Thrones. New Game news. of Lewis! Louisville. I guess winter is coming for Lewis. St. Louis. Uh, hmm? He started drifting away from our reality. He went to Lewis University. Okay. 
far off lands. Uh, Minneapolis. Ah, uh, Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the gallery. Uh -huh. Even what as his it? mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing off. He just wasn't there. He was in his mind. Yeah, he's playing Civilization too. So. Might say a runescape, really? Whisper. So, Handsome Queen or Beautiful Prince? Let's do Handsome Queen. Maybe he was transgender. <laughs> no, he heard rumors handsome of. Handsome Queen. Oh, okay. Well. That's okay. I like that they said Handsome Queen or Beautiful Prince. They didn't say Beautiful Queen or Handsome Prince. Maybe the Queen is transgender. I was gonna say or a lesbian, but then the I realized we're a man. Her so own quest I'm... for uh, sinister serpents or ra radiant rainbows. Radiant rainbows. Radiant rainbows. I forgot they had that part, so I'm like, hey, mom does get to do choice, but it's minimal. Yeah, it's just a small thing. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to go through it. Oh, I knocked him down anyway. Well, oh no. no. I don't. Uh, I like the sound of her. Electric guitar or sitar? <laughs> or silver harp, totally. Silver harp. Oh, now we can listen to the music. Let's make him gay. I made him gay. I went to the beautiful friends. Hell yeah. But mom's also like, ooh, women. Transgender. I don't know why you keep going for. Oh, because handsome, I guess. Yeah, handsome. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. There she is. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Whoa, too many fish. Imagination. Why? Too, too much multitasking. But he was so proud of having created it. Uh. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Can't kick in rainbows here. He's a god! God of the fish! Yeah, he is. For someone Lewis. who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon. But the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. How to eat? Those don't look like salmon. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. Uh -oh. It was hard to argue with him. There's a tiny door. I'm assuming this is the cannery. Like locker room. This isn't gonna be good. began to forget the world we know. Let's see. Which locker was his? Yeah. Who would guess? He forgot to eat. Oh. Barry Okay. I think Emperor. it pained him God to remember Emperor. Lewis, the cannery worker. How much detail they put in this place, though. Right, it's amazing. He began to this despise the man with yeah. a royal contempt. He's like not even doing it anymore because he's just mentally in his head. I still thought I could save him. Tuna, oh, maybe? Even maybe. after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Looks like a cathedral, a little bit. How about antipsychotics? With his companions. Uh, he gets all the fame and glory. Oh no, he's on the fish the conveyor belt. <gasps> he put himself on the conveyor belt. It's the holy temple of fish heads. Seriously, though. They all look like Slenderman. Faceless masses, yeah. That's why he died. Slenderman got him. 
He's the Emperor of Slender Man. His queen waited, oh, holding his Oh, look at the stained glass. <gasps> oh my god, the artistry. There was only one thing left to do. He does guillotine himself. <gasps> and the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Horrible to have a client. My brother like that. was really cool. I wish you could have met him. She should have <laughs> committed him like a long time ago. Seriously, though. <sighs> Someone yeah, was but saying I mean, it's, it's possibly it's... disassociative identity dis disorder. Um, Mom I would, would think it was more Maybe. psychosis. Um, because he's not in the world and um. If you're disassociating, it doesn't necessarily mean you're in a fantasy world. You're kind of... Um, Physically absent? <sighs> yeah. Mom would know more than me. I mean, she is a therapist. So it'd be so. more like you could see yourself like outside of yourself, or um, you're not necessarily disconnected and in a totally different reality, so that's why it's more psychosis. Um, and as soon as she saw that he was in psychosis, that's when you start... You know, they go into treatment and then they get on some psychiatric medication to stop the psychosis. Because in psychosis, you can hurt yourself. You can fly. You don't know what's real. You think you're you right. You think you can fly. You fly off a building. Detach yourself from uh, yourself. Oh, it's pretty yeah. awesome. I mean, just the the artwork alone is in this breathtaking. I mean, yeah. this is one of the most visually stimulating games I think I've ever played. Um, and accurate, visu visually accurate, and not like repeating I itself nonstop. Yeah. Um, just beautiful. Yeah, they did good at storytelling. Yeah. Amazing at storytelling, I, I think. I love it. But yeah. These indie guys I rock. Guess. Give them yeah. lots of love on their indie game website on Twitter. Oh yeah, buy the game. I mean, the game yeah, is beautiful. Yeah, buy the game. Because you could go through this and just kind of be Experience. visually in a different, yeah, different place. All the time. We could be in our own little back from Lewis's yeah. funeral. My mom told me to start packing. Uh-oh. Because that was the... The she waited until the day the before we left to tell Oh my god, me. is it almost over? Yeah. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. The day before to tell Edie. <laughs> hi, for, hi Pl Plum Morale Eli. Hello, hello. What's that? I wish we'd stayed. Stuff on the floor. It's, uh, oh, packing, packing peanuts. Oh my god, I don't know all those things left. about her brother. So this is where Edith and her mom stayed while the brothers were in those other two rooms. This is where these two, they shared a li tiny That's living space together. amazing. I want a living space like this. So this is the mom's room. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. I think she just wanted to leave because her son was dead. Like, second son was dead. Well, we, we don't know what happened to Milton. But you know, we know he, was, he disappeared. Yeah. Through the door. Now we're gonna go to Edith's room. Oh, she was like a, she was a waitress or something or a target or disaster relief. Oh, disaster. Oh, relief. that's Sanjay's. Oh. So he died doing s disaster relief. That's why. And that's his little. Oh my God. She left what behind all her memory. Been coming for a long time. Edith doesn't die too, does Maybe she? Should have come sooner. I'm not saying shit. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. It's beautiful. So this is Edith's room. All the Christmas lights and stuff. Wow, look at that. This is a beautiful room. <gasps> Her quill. I'm very glad I went and got popcorn. That's daddy's jacket. Yeah. Oh my god! 
She's the baby. Tell your mom not to be ashamed to have a heart. Yeah, no. I don't think we're ashamed at all. So this is her writing it. The whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together. Oh my gosh, she kills them all. all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. She's Why 93. Open it? I do what I want. I don't know, that food looks kind of gross. All you know. I'm sorry, like you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our lives. I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. So I got kicked out. Am I Edith right now? This is little the Edith. The power had been shut off okay. that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. I'm tiny little uh -oh. Edith. Aww. Is this when Grandma dies? When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. <gasps> oh. Or that Edie had a key to it. Uh -uh. Edie's a little ninja. Uh -oh. I like Edie. She's so sassy. She just Is this goes Edie through. or Edith? I'm Edith, but Edie opened that for Edith uh, to go into. So Edie's the little kid? Edie's, no, I'm no. Edith, who's the little girl. My mom and my grandma Edie are arguing right now because Edie doesn't want to leave. Okay. She's like, I've been here my 93 Entire years, life. why do I want to leave? Oh, and this is the night she died. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. This is the library you wanted to go into. This is where Edie's been sleeping and stuff. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. It's beautiful. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. What are all those? Okay. Oh, are those all the... This is all what Edie's written down. Oh, this is what I was thinking about. Oh, okay. So this is where she's been sleeping. So cool. Wait, go back. Wait, go on the bed. I can't. I tried. Oh, you can't? What's no. that little... I guess oh, stopped. it's a light. I thought it was a white bed. The History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. And it was the first in. and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. <gasps> they called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. So it's a tsunami that comes back. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Yeah, but everyone lived past this moment, so. Oh, okay. But I never thought I'd go back to it. I mean, this is Edie walking to the house, but Edie's telling the when story. When the so. fog rolled in, I lost my way. she died when way. she was 93. Yeah. I got turned around. Try not to get turned around. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing it things. Well, that would make sense. A deer could go down there. Best Things I'd said. forgotten had ever existed. It's true. Ocean floor is rancid no matter what you say. But, but some... when I saw them, they felt like old friends. Like this is stuff that was in her house when she was growing up. It's just washed ashore, oh, you know, that washed night, to the sea floor. A lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. But yeah, I was like, I would never have walked out to this knowing that water could come back. I'm like, nope. Nope. But I would have probably scuba dived and saw it. Things I can't explain. 
but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. She likes those hands. We both tried to make the best of it. Is that how she broke her hand? <laughs> A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while, <laughs> and then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. Is there a part two? I appreciate two? how strange and brief <laughs> all of this is. And now for the gross part. <laughs> this journal was supposed to be for you. For her baby. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. It's the birth canal. Yeah. And tell you all these stories oh, myself. Oh, she did it for her baby. The 22-week-old baby. But if you're reading this now. Things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. <gasps> this sucks. Oh, it's a boy. <sighs> so how did she die? Giving birth. That's my assumption. Uh, fuck. <laughs> that sucked. For Shirley Dallas. <laughs> so I'm assuming she passed away then. She's so, young. I'm assuming she inspired this. She was only 50, 65. Uh, oh, God. Eh, here's all the devs. Oh, God. Yeah, who you're made amazing. You cry. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, she died on your birthday? Oh, oh! my, Drander. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh my god. Oh. God, Chris. Great job. Oh, that was uh, sad. So, <laughs> yeah. It's really good, though. Uh, like, it's sad, but, like, it's I beautifully hate sad done. Things. I know, but it's beautifully done. <sighs> I warned you, though. I didn't, I didn't say oh it was going to be happy or anything. I just said it would be make you cry. <laughs> That's just horrible. Yeah. And he's already got the curse because he's already broken his arm. <laughs> we don't know what the curse really is, though. No, wait a second. Because he Edith looked down at himself and he was pregnant. He wasn't pregnant. No, we were playing Edith in those moments. And then when she sat down in her bedroom and started writing, that was the letter he was reading. So we were never playing him. We only played him when we opened the book. But like at the same time, the um, 
Uh. Edith lived to be 93, and she's the one who knew every single story. So I wonder if, like, knowing the stories actually keeps you going, which is why Edith was hoping Breaking the Cycle would be telling him all these stories. Because, yeah, Edith fucking lived forever. Like, Edith lived a normal life. Well, like, other than the death around her, she didn't die early. Like, they call it a curse, Oh, my God, the concept artist. Like, Theo and... Dan, oh my god. Like all of it. Character art. You guys are rock. And Holly. The villain of Edith oh. Finch is a game analysis. Look at how many curse. people. I believe it. Watch the real villain of Edith Finch whenever you can. You guys we'll are do. just rocking it. Oh. Yeah. We have Literally to, we have put to my watch head in hands one. and cried. Yeah, that's what I. Uh, <sighs> my heart hurts. Ending. Right? It's the third time seeing this story and I cried again. Yeah, like I'll cry every time. I always cry. At Sam's story, I tear up at Lewis's, and then I cry at the end. Wow. Hit. That was just. Ken, phenomenal. it's so confusing when you don't call them Edie and Edith. You call them both Edith. My bad. <laughs> they are both Edith, though. You're, yeah. yeah, Edie. Edie lived to be 93. Oh. Edith died, I'm assuming, at 17 when she gave birth, or 18. Right. So, I'm assuming giving birth because you heard her gasp, because that's not a baby gasp. You heard her gasp. Well, she found out. She found all the stories, put them together in a book for him. Yeah, Yeah. and I gave him the key so he could go and look at the house too. So it was horrible. Annapurna did well though. Annapurna Interactive and Giant Sparrow. Unbelievable! Wow. Uh, Cry every time. It's like the tenth time. Look at all the people it took to make this. Yeah. That's why her mom said the stories were killing her children, when in reality, not telling the stories killed them. That's what I think. Right, right. Although, right. Also, that's some, why of it's, the story, sure. some of it's, like, just, you don't leave a baby alone in a bathtub. Like, some of it's, like, stuff that you could have avoided if you made smart decisions. Or but. let the kitty berries, because she's hungry. And then she or let her eat dinner. And yeah, then, yeah, don't even, like, yeah, don't let her eat dinner. Don't send a kid off to dinner without dinner. No matter how bad they were, they still have need food. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Oh my god. Scared for life too. That's so funny. Alvin and the chipmunks. Enjoy and thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm loving Menory Lewis Finch. Oh my god, was that a real one? No, I think just the person oh. in the beginning. Because that says Family Finch Cemetery. The Edith Finch team. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. Oh. The end. The end. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, this is ready. <laughs> Oh my god, and I'm gonna have snot dripping down the back of my throat all day. Yep. A replay story option is now available. Oh. Yeah, which is, yeah. Select Edith to play from the beginning. But I I hadn't played on this computer yet, so Mm -hmm. I just hit start and it worked. But yes, thank you guys so much. We have not played the unfinished swan yet. What? So we could do that as a later date. The unfinished swan. The one that's about Milton. 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 Love you guys. Bye. See you guys later. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.